The theory was that Kevin Rudd's announcement of the Papua New Guinea solution was going to close down the debate on asylum seekers. I mean, surely now everybody agreed we'd treat them as brutally as humanly possible, and you couldn't get any more brutal than Manus Island. But, wrong again. It now appears that all he's done is started a new arms race. Tony Abbott is determined to escalate. So, last week he announced that the coalition would send in the military, declare full mobilisation, put Australia on a war footing. Only way to deal with them. Tony Abbott's idea is to get a full-time full serving army officer, a three-star general no less, and put him in charge of the whole operation. In practice, this, and he would report, not to the Defence Minister or to the Defence Chief of Staff, but to the Immigration Minister. In effect, we're going to give the loathsome and demented t Scott Morrison his own private army. Shudder at the thought. Well, it's an odd way of dealing with things. I mean, it's a complete break in the normal chain of command. It may even be unconstitutional. At the moment, the way things work is under a civil authority, the armed forces have their own part. They're in charge of border security. They're in charge of naval patrols. And these are already under the command of a three-star officer, Rear Admiral David Johnson. And they even have their own name. It's called Operation Resolute. Not nearly as wanky as Operation Sovereign Border, which Tony Abbott wants to call it. So we'd have two three-star officers competing for authority, and somehow the Chief of the Defence Forces would be sidelined. Very odd way to handle things. Would it work? Well, there's no reason to suppose it should. There'd be no real change in the way things are organised at the moment, except to add confusion to an already confused situation. And there are other reasons to be suspicious. Tony Abbott says he's taking this extraordinary step because Australia is faced with a national emergency. Well, it isn't. We are not in threatened by invading armed forces. We are not to be about to be subjugated by foreign troops, occupied by a force determined to rape our women, destroy our way of life. What this is, is a political emergency and one very largely of Tony Abbott's own making. And in a democracy in Australia, we don't call in the army to solve a political emergency. We're not Syria. What we do is resort to politics and we make politics work. Tony Abbott is obviously sees himself as some kind of modern dictator determined to rule by military junta. As if we weren't buggered up enough already, it's time to be even more afraid. I'm Mungo McCallum and very afraid. Thank you.